Welcome back. You're listening to the Anonymous Show starring Lee. And today, my guest DJ, DJ Scrapper. It's your boy DJ Scrap, Mr. Book of Himself. And as promised, our guest for the evening, Dance Hall Gorilla. Thank you for joining us. Bless it. You know the thing, go. <laughs> We're just going to give him a minute to sit down here. The coolest gorilla you've ever met. Good evening. Good All evening. Right. How are you doing? We're good, man. We're blessed, you know? Never stress, is it? Yeah. All right. All right. So, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I'm not sure if you've watched my previous interviews before, but they're pretty laid back. Uh, it's going to be a, a positive experience for all of us. Yeah. Uh, after all, we do have several brands in the room that we need to protect, mostly mine and yours. See you <laughs> so yeah, thank right. you for joining me today, and thank you for you know just giving me the opportunity to speak with you in regards to what you're trying to do in the industry. Yeah. I do I do believe you're going to make a positive mark with what, what you've told me so far. See you there. So can't wait to hear more. Yeah, um, so first of all, let me ask you, where are you from? Yeah, man, so you know the thing, bro. Normally the gorillas, they come from the jungle. But we have enough girl, young girl in a bungle. But you know the thing, <laughs> uh, man, think of you, we come from Jamaica. Okay. You understand? Big up Cornwall College. Okay. You understand? And that's how we get the knowledge. You understand? And then we come from Kingston as well. Okay. And we come from Bapen as well. We live in all three counties, Cornwall, Middlesex, and Surrey. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you lived everywhere. Everywhere. They used to call me an all around down to live at Jamaica. So <laughs> you understand? Because my bones from one house to the next house. A rolling stone, house, right? Like a rolling stone, you understand? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Because we get one of a different experience. So we experience all part of the island. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we kind of build me on one. Exactly. Thing. What year did you did you come here? All right, so we moved here in America in 2012. Zane, you know, the summer. So just before summer, so the time they kind of cool and you want to go back home. But <laughs> where did you go? Did you go immediately to Miami or? or well, we forward to Florida first. Zane, luckily, we never go to New York. <laughs> Say, you know, say, cool. you right. I'm afraid of the cold, so I'm happy to say, all right, I said, we're far away first, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so we land on Fort Lauderdale Airport, and it was a blessing. Okay. All curse, get eliminated, poverty, we just tell poverty goodbye. We never reach and get a whole heap of money, mm -hmm. but the mindset changed. Right. We get from realize that the world the is a bigger place, the environment, right. the exposure. the exposure, everything is different. Eh? We, they must always say when you go foreign, mm -hmm. it's, it's a different thing. It's like it's like you go to a better place. But when I forward, mm -hmm. a better place wasn't really exactly what I expect. Because the place is nice, yes, but you have to work hard still. Very hard. You understand? Very hard. Seven, everything days where you, everything where you are, Seven days a week. Everything you want. Seven days a week. Yeah, man. So we recognize that and the hard work chipping and things work out the right way. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So you applied the knowledge that you learned in, in all, all of those parishes yes, once you got here. Everything that the double whopper. When I mean, you talk about double whopper, <laughs> that's my first job in America. I work at McDonald's, big up McDonald's. Hey. See, yeah, man, we know about the mustard onion. You gotta ketchup. start from somewhere. Yes, man. <laughs> you understand? Wrap and slide and anything there. You know? So, when you worked at McDonald's, how long did you work there when you first asked me? How long did you work there? Well, I worked there a good space of time. Not too long. Like, pretty much like within the first. Six to twelve months I was out of there. You understand? Mm -hmm. I learned a lot while I was there. I learned very quickly. Mm -hmm. Some people that here for five, six years, seven years. Some people kinda live on my you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. But my type of living was when we got working in the morning, people will come and them see me, then go home and then come back and then still see me at work. Because we work on double shift mm -hmm. more time, we work very hard, morning shift, day shift, evening shift, night shift. Until I'm tired, then I go home for rest, and then I come back again. Because I don't have nothing else for them, I just want to make money, you understand? You know, what's funny is I know a lot of people uh, that work in the fast food industry, they, yeah. they tend to work double shifts. Yeah, man, um, work double, double 
shift nice, man. Worse, worse, that's some work hard to become manager because you understand the free food. You know, we talk about the interview, so I'm in a work there no more, so I can't fire them. <laughs> fire them already. So the free food, well, if I'm not chicken and anything there, you understand? Mm-hmm. As a management, so I become management very quickly. And McDonald's was actually my playground, my practice ground, uh-huh. when it comes to the music. So oh. I work all overnight shift, a lot of perseverance there. Eh? Mm-hmm. I work overnight shift now, I kind of like take them time to build my lyrics there. Right. You understand? And the people that I work with me, I usually entertain them. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, like I say, doubles. Uh, three, four people end up turning at 10,000 people. Okay. I'm just a perform, a flip burger, <laughs> rap and slide, mustard, onion, ketchup, pickle, you understand? Push so that. you always knew that you'd be performing on a stage, even when you worked at McDonald's. Yeah, man. You know, so I always got up on the big stage. I just didn't know when. Right. You understand? And it's because when I moved to America, mm-hmm. you can't really just a focus, focus on the music because you, you got broke. I start walking around like ducks, you know, you can't. <laughs> yeah, man, so I have to fill up the pocket with money, so I work very hard. I take the space of time while working mm-hmm. for build and create. Sometimes I travel and work with them and look a book, mm-hmm. and them say, yo, put down the book and cook. And I say, all right, I'm just add more time and write two lyrics mm-hmm. and keep it moving. Them time, them never do a drive either. Mm-hmm. And me, me used to have a whole heap of perseverance. So I walk a studio sometime. My first studio when I go in America is Supreme Studio, right off Oakland and 441. Mm-hmm. You understand? And I work with me same way up until last night. I did a studio with voice a bad song named Bunks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. And you're doing Bounce, so it's, let me ask you, what is that in, in regards to? I did see you were promoting. Um, a event. festival, a event yeah. coming up. Is it Bounce Music Festival? Yes, a Bounce Music Festival, I predict, is going to be one of the greatest events on earth when it comes to dancehall and reggae music. Okay. Big up yep. Reggae Sound Fest. Hopefully, they book me for next year. You understand? <laughs> but Bounce Festival, them do the right thing and them book me. You understand? Mm-hmm. Um, them, them look out for me in a very good way. You understand? Them now only have a base in Orlando. On December the 19th, they my plan to take it to different places. So everybody are going to be able to get the experience. So they're going to bounce from, from Florida to New York to mm-hmm. a different mm-hmm. place. I'm not really sure about the location them I yet. I think I saw one in New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah, man. They have a whole heap of things are going with. So, right. you know, it was right. Bunks, the song named Bunks now is not really the team song for the event. It's mm-hmm. just a song for the girl and Bunks. Right. Them booty, right. you know? Yeah, man. Okay. Get a well, I can't rolling. wait to hear that song. Yeah, man, it's dope, man. And for the people them who want to hear bunks, I have a simple task for them. I need a thousand people to send a dollar to my cash app. Okay. Dollar sign, italics, birthday. Do the right thing. I now ask for a thousand likes or a thousand comments <laughs> or a thousand shares. You understand? I need a thousand dollars to release that? the song. You understand? Then we start bunks up the place. We okay. do the right thing. You got to pay him in advance for his work. Yeah, man. And them think more want the money if you go buy food and clothes and no, I'm not going to donate it to a non-profit organization. Okay, a what's the name of it? The, this is Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. And what are, what are they, what are they, um... So this is Jamaica now, um, based on my remembrance, is a very wonderful non-profit organization. Currently right now, they have a poem known as This is Jamaica, mm-hmm. that is doing very well in Jamaica. There's different schools that participate. And the winners, I believe, is going to get a, um, you know, they might, they might get a thousand dollar in in regards to them education and so forth. You understand? So I think Got it's it. a good cause. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to add to that. Right. You understand? I don't know who's the winner going to be, but right. at the end of the day, I want to raise this thousand dollar and then put it towards that so they can have more money for pay with. Because me, me come from Jamaica, to me dead broke like dog. Right. You understand? I come from Zing Fence and Borders, so I know what it's like. So, exactly. my music, and I really for just enjoyment and fun, but I need it for a bit towards a cause. You uh, understand? De- definitely. Yeah, man. It will definitely last longer if, if there's a definitely. cause behind it. Yeah, man. That's good to know. Good to know. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What is your, the, your least favorite part about being a, a musician? Is sometimes I have like um, it's like I have a mind block right now. More time you have a mind block where you know, so you need to have a song right now. 
or you need to sing something something new supposed to create or if my listener beat and it take like too long for the lyrics them forward right you understand that's right. the least favorite part but I always fix that with a spliff sometimes you know? <laughs> you know it's actually the process that you don't like yeah it's the process you know, right? but at the same time we deal with it with a spliff you understand <laughs> with a smoke my fans them see me because you know as a youth growing up uh -huh. I have an eye smoke you know my parents them out of respect know, you're out of respect you understand right. But when we're in a studio, you know, mm -hmm. we do the it's right definitely thing. needed. Well, not needed, but, but some people prefer it. Yeah, man. It, it brings out the creativity in some people. Yeah, so man. You want to say that you said it gave up King Salaman in the show. <laughs> the right <laughs> That's good. That's good. So let me ask you, without further ado, um, I'd like you to go ahead and introduce your first song. And this is oh. a song I heard you perform. Um, so I want you to go ahead and introduce the first song. Yeah, man. <sighs> Gorilla, you know the thing go easily does it is for your luck a bullet. At 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 <sighs> expression. Mm -hmm. think of that. <sighs> easily does it is for your luck a bullet. Them can't cool it. Time is now, I feel do with narcotics. Step to the gorilla, them to get tragic actually. Not tech talk, no normally carbon it. Tell us, but don't take it if I need italics. No, 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 drop me now, nah, panic. Can't judge, they know me, but I'm iconic. Man, a gorilla, gorilla, with a regular. Gorilla, gorilla, with a to top that you guys you hear that going forward you're gonna have to do some pretty hard things uh to get in the seat um so let me ask you a question what were you for halloween did you do you even celebrate halloween halloween no man we don't have nothing to do with doppy man all right no no doppy around here you know halloween we don't really know the history of it but mm -hmm. we just know it's something all right you know a bunch of people are walking and look like them dead <laughs> you understand how we are alive so yeah, how man. did you get the, the concept for the mask? Where how, how did you find the mask? It? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's a song dance. It's a song, Gorilla. Mm -hmm. You know, 
So, I'm going up online and I'm search for your mask because we want to use the mask for the music video. Oh, so you'd already created the song? Yeah, man. And you just, all right. And then I needed to do the music video. Right. So, we're going to search for a mask and a beer. Ugly gorilla, man. I see some <laughs> black gorilla and all type of gorilla. I said, no, nah, man, the gorilla is cool, man. Yeah, we just come from school, man, you know? <laughs> so we just go so boom and we see the one that will look like a monkey. Mm -hmm. You understand? And we know so we're not junkie, so we just know so I didn't have some ear on the side. You understand? I look all right. So we get it and it just create the image. It's it kind of clear uh -huh. at first. Mm -hmm. You understand? And because he's a natural visual artist, mm -hmm. we get creative, you know, and we get a pan of paint. Oh. I would down in the mask, you understand? So it oh. becomes darker. You, were going. you see, people people worry about them image too mm -hmm. much, you know? You mm -hmm. understand? We're perfectly created as our God created us. Mm -hmm. So even if my band looking like a monkey mm -hmm. or a gorilla or anything at all, I am happy for who God made me to be. You understand? And anything evolve to mm -hmm. become as long as it is right mm -hmm. or positive, because I'm from the positive part of the universe, you know? Mm -hmm. So anything positive, good, you understand? Mm -hmm. So. I'm not afraid. So so please hope, hope that me look like the mask. <laughs> I no question to ask. So where can we find your music? Where can we find you on social media? Alright, so you can find my music at www.dancehallgorilla.com Once you go there, sir, you're gonna see everything. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Pandora, 150 digital wow. outlets. Anything with digital, you have music, you can find that. Talk about versatility. Yeah, so www.dancehallgorilla.com So instead, me I list because there's 150 different outlets now. Right. See, if you name it, the interview now got done tonight. <laughs> see? So one place in the go, dancehallgorilla.com and you'll find everything. Yeah. Got it. All right. So with that being said, go ahead and introduce your next song for us. All right, so my next song now is pain. You know, everybody feel pain. Everybody I got through some form of pain. Mm -hmm. A lot of people them afraid for voice, all them feeling. Mm -hmm. So that song here actually are for the silent people them and for the people them are ball out and them feel pain too. Right. You understand? That song here for help them to keep them composure and for make them feel as if they're not alone. You understand? Because right. me got through pain too, mm -hmm. and me do it through me, me release my. I help myself through music. Mm -hmm. And I think by doing a song like this, it can help people who are got through pain to you. understand? Get through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, they can feel like a gorilla. Yes, I feel pain. But no, I mean, I say, really, no, baby. Never complain. Let me see the blood stain. Man, man, as a gorilla, I never come Never mind as a failure. Travel the world like a sailor. Me know a long time nobody now give you no favor And them could be sell you out for the paper Never, never see me fail now You could have increased the pain, yeah No weakness to run in on my vein, no You never gonna see me insane Don't fit down to the worst, no lie How many times I said life was a curse on my Until me see my daughter fear she come first So any doubts in her mind are reversed, yeah No give me no bad vibes, dog, no give me no negative vibe just give me the crowd and give me the stage and give me the mic See my wrong go tell the world dance a gorilla arrive I got a legendary status on my mind You could have never yeah. seen me fail now Yesterday now, today now Got a lot of blue sky, I, I, I To the sky, grace got me, I got paid off You would have never seen me fail now Yesterday now, today now Got a lot of problems, can't you see the pain in my eyes Certain things you can't play it off <laughs> I got to hustle and hustle that type of spirit in me I can't break even if a finger break in me The only time when I cry and when my father drop out My emotions gone from the boat Boy, I feel pain, yeah I feel pain You know the thing go, real credit deal. <laughs> Expression. So I know the holidays are approaching and I expect the parties to pick up. Where can people find you? Where are they going to see you performing? Well, we have a lot of shows coming up right now. 
starting this weekend. No, as a matter of fact, starting tonight. Mm -hmm. Seeing, but probably by the time they see the interview here tonight, God, already. But we're going to get this Wednesday tonight. Put the high birthday bash tonight, okay. you see? Okay. So right after the interview, I'm going to hear some. Okay. And then, weekend now, we have Oliver Samuel, birthday, Rose. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to roast him, so we're going to with a few songs. That's what you understand. <laughs> Yeah man, so we're gonna perform there so we're gonna also the rhythm rhythm and rhythm and bass okay. at Federal Highway. We're there in the afternoon and okay. then at the night we're gonna the gardens with Oliver. Okay. See, in the garden at uh, 441 there so just a musical artist, I'm a visual artist as well, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. You understand? Right. Um, pretty much a lot of people don't know I'm one of the top visual artists in South Florida. Mm. A lot of my paintings are on the city of Lobby at Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. You understand? So when it comes to like the, the artwork visually, I'm mm. very good at it. You can look at your painting at five ten minutes. Okay, talented. Is it? Yeah, yeah man. Yes. So God give me that gift there so we utilize it. Do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Is Definitely. It? Yeah, Definitely. And he has blessed you with many talents. Yeah, man. And then after this weekend, I ain't not done anything at Willie for a show, you know. I just I get a show from <laughs> okay. left, right and center. Just before the interview, we get booked for a show in Mavado. Okay. You see, in uh, November the 27th. Where's that one? Um, That's going to be in Vera Beach. Okay. See, I don't know. I don't remember the exact details, but it's November the 27th, Vera Beach. Okay. See, and then November the 23rd, we have Free Yourself Open Mic Dance Al Gorilla Live in Concert in Orlando okay. at the Sound Bar downtown Orlando. Okay. You know, the link is in my biography on Instagram, Dance Al Gorilla, so people can go and purchase tickets. It's cheap, cheaper than hamburger meal, $15. <laughs> Zin, that's not expensive, just to buy a ticket and do the right thing. But separate from that, we were there at Orlando like a week before the event, there's some marketing on the street, old school style, and out flyers interact with the people them talk to the people them yes and mm -hmm. just like how the Jehovah witness them walk and knock one door right. so the gorilla walk around and knock on the people them door to and give them some flyers and tell them stuff to come out and party you understand okay so after november complete now in december we have um we have the show with spice bunks see so we're back in Orlando again bunks is a very um exciting event for me actually and so they didn't just book me as an artist, I'm actually a brand ambassador for them. So I'll be performing in Orlando, they're taking me to New York and the other different places that they're going to. You understand? Because the gorilla is not just an artist, you know, it's an experience. Right. You understand? So more of a more of a spread. Like how COVID virus has spread, I so more of a spread the music and infect everybody because this is something positive. You understand? Right. Yeah man, it's, my music is like medication organic medication when you listen it if you're feeling bad it'll make you feel good you see right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. well i just want to say thank you very much you know for, for stopping by and speaking yeah, with man. me today in regards to what you're doing um in the community it seems like you're doing what you need to be doing uh to to get to the next level yeah, as man. far as getting that exposure it's it's um, it's um it's my purpose and you see that thing that when them say next level, I'm already at the next level. Okay. See? Because remember I'm telling you that Jamaica where I come from you know. You see once me left that airport there in Montego Bay in two thousand and twelve, me reached the next level already. Yes yeah, so and now it's two thousand and twenty one. We're going to two thousand and twenty two next year. See? So I'm kinda like have a mentality where it's not per se when people say young artists, men are young artists. Because I really did this from like 2000. From the year 2000, but actually I did this thing. Zane, so that I mean like grade 7. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we knock decks, boom, boom, and we just knock the decks and I do a thing. That's my first experience of trying out music in front of my classmate. Then, you understand? Mm -hmm. Got a school named Dembe High School that I before I got Cornwall College, grade 7. Glen Muir, Glen Muir, them be or them be, me see they will let them, them one come friend. You know, we just did that, we have vibes and everything nice. You know, them time there, we used to sing over a lot of other artists' songs, you understand? Like, Zim Zimmer, who got the keys to my bima? Oh my, you know, and we sing all them songs there. And, you know, one of my favorite rap artists, them when we used to listen back then was Eminem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guess who's back? Back up, you know, and listen to them thing there. And so, it kinda what you said me. you listened to Eminem. Is yeah, that so? Let me ask you: Did you listen to Eminem or did you listen to Marshall Mathers or Slim Shady? Like, well, 
Who are you listening to? Slim Shady. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. I didn't name him in him, right? Yeah, but you know he used to go by a, a, a different name at first, and then okay. he switched well, well, to it. Separate from Slim Shady, we remember Eminem because Before he became commercialized. I, okay. You know, I understand what the commercialized <laughs> part mean. But I remember the Eminem because it did remind me. Back then when I hear Eminem, I just think about the candy. Uh -huh. You see me? Yeah. I used to love that Eminem candy. So I said, why the mix that man a name with that little thing or another bag of man? <laughs> you understand? So, yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, I listen to him song them, mm -hmm. so I kind of fall in love with the rap. Mm -hmm. So I start out rapping at first. Because I was an intellectual youth, you understand? So mm -hmm. I used to speak proper, my parents them teach me how to speak proper. So I try to look at rapping now and then. You know, um, when I'm a first song them on my bill, I when I sing to my manager, when I forward. You understand? I'm frightened if you hear me sing it. It's actually a song on my right to God. Because I never knew my father them time then. I actually met my father in 2012 when I moved to America. You see? Him? And I said, Dear God, why your wife? From the day my born, I never look in my father's eye. He never told me that he loved me and for me he'll die. I only listen to his voice on the cell phone line. He told me that he loved me and for me he'll die. You know, and we just did it and we had built it. And it was a thing where I go in some deeper lyrics from my manager and I want me to sing because I said, Dear Lord, why are you why? From the day I born, I never look in my father's eye. He never told me that he loved me and for me he'll die. I only listen to his voice on the cell phone line. He made a lot of promises such as buying my bike and a bicycle so I could learn to ride. I oh, know me not get it to ride my mind. Sometimes I get mad and I cry and I cry. Because any on my phone, I go find her. You know, and I got some deep and some serious things where I can't really sing on the live. You understand? So... But it, it hurt me because I never know my father. So I'm move here and I'm 24 years old now. I was like a big kid again. You see me? And from 2012 to 2000 and from no from 2000 to 2012, doing music, it was a journey for me where I learned a lot of things. It developed me in a one way where where I was evolving into this monster where you would have called some concept gorilla right now. Zine, I have different names as I come up. They used to call me Potterus in a school. Zine, they used to call me DJ PJ as well, because my last name is Patterson. I couldn't get no leadership role. You understand? Because they compare me to PJ Patterson, the Prime Minister of Jamaica. You understand? And they have a whole thing to say about him, but I couldn't get no leadership role. But long story short, the journey from music starting in 2012, 2000, and 2000 to 2012, coming to America singing at McDonald's, knocking the decks the same way. Everything for me is like a transition. It's like a different level, level, level. Now I'm telling a lie in 2018, I kind of there give up. Because I say, yo, this thing now work, you know. You understand? I start feel depressed. And I know a lot of young artists right now I go through that because they might do this for so long and it now work. Mm -hmm. You understand? So a lot of people right now are see my glory, but them don't know my story. So that's why I take the time out to tell it. It's kind of long. I will put thing me chop chop up, but I can tell it in our next interview if you're welcome my back. You understand? But from, from 2012 to 2018, may I do it. So at one point, I stop in 2018 and I start doing a lot of coaching, a lot of marketing and branding for other artists because I think I develop so many skills. You understand? With all these skills now when I develop teaching these artists, when I hear them, when an artist look for me and say, Bridget, so how you teach people all of this and you now do it for yourself? My manager, which is also my good friend, you understand? We met you like in a 2016 them time there. Eh? You understand? Become instant great friends. He actually booked me. But somebody connect him to me and tell him, say, yo, the better you can build a website, you know, and him show up and him pay me for build a website from there, so he's a rap business partner, good friend, now my management, mm -hmm. sponsor as well, you understand? Right. Guidance and coach, you understand? Mm -hmm. God bless you. Okay. Zane, Odin Lawrence, okay. owner of Real Credit Deal, you understand? Where can and, they find you? You can find me all over. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, So that's Odin 
O D E A N underscore Lawrence. Yes. And that's on Instagram. Correct. Okay. And you said the was there a website? Real RealCreditDeal.com? Real yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah, realcreditdeal.com, you guys. Yeah, man, so real credit deal is a real deal, no kids' meal. You understand? And separate from that, more of a bless up my other management, Expression, www.expressionentertainment.com. That I'm a childhood friend, grew up with him, him do the right thing, and did it for me in the music right now. So I'm going to pick up at the end of 2018. Mm-hmm. As a musician, as an artist, will look for me and say, Yo, Italics. Why you tell me if you do all of this thing but you not do it for yourself? So I just wake up and Mr. Gorilla, I will start pick up and we do the thing and do the right thing. You understand? Mm-hmm. I will have two great people around me now, a part of the team. Gorilla Nation getting strong. You understand? Mm-hmm. And we'll do the right thing right now. Well, it definitely looks like you guys are moving forward. Your, your name is definitely being called in high places. Yeah. So keep it up. Um, where, where can they find you guys? Where can they find... Uh, your last manager was it realcreditdeal.com? Oh, my, my next manager, you could find him at expressionentertainment.com. Okay. Expression with an X. Oh, okay. So it starts with an X. XP, mm-hmm. expression, entertainment.com. Got it. Yeah, man. All right. So I definitely want to thank you for stopping by and blessing <laughs> us with an interview. Um, it, it was nice speaking with you, enlightening, um, I, I should say. Yeah. I didn't expect you to be so deep. Um, thank you. Yeah, and and going forward, I know you have other songs as well. They can locate on YouTube, and he said there's a lot of songs um, yeah. on all platforms. So we're we're definitely gonna yeah, be man. checking the, for the that. The best thing, the best thing they do, just go to dancehallgorilla.com. Dancehallgorilla.com. Once you go there, everything they there. So. That's right. Everything, food over there too. Everything for we love them belly. Yeah. Well, thank you once again for tuning in for another episode of the Anonymous Show, starring Lee. Thank my amazing guests, the Dance Hall Gorilla. Yeah, man. And tune in next week, WKMT DB, The Great FM.